Hey everyone, it's Michael here with Home Health Success Academy and 10xpatientreferrals.com and welcome to another one of our business podcasts over here at Home Health Success Academy. And our main goal is to be able to, you know, show you guys and share with you interviews as well as conversations we have with a variety of different people from owners of agencies who is currently existing or they're starting to you know, create an agency. We're going to be speaking to marketers. And at the very same time as we're going to be talking to some of the individuals out there that provide support for agencies from softwares as well as client support and marketing people. Okay. So in this episode, it's pretty much a talk with one of the marketers um, out there who's having some questions. And the main goal here is to be able to share with you guys that more likely you're probably having the same problems that some of these marketers are also facing. So our main goal here is to share the information and maybe that you guys can get some you know, tips and tricks on some of the conversations that we are having at this very moment. Just to let you know, this podcast is brought to you by a medication reminder program, giving you the one up from the competition. If you provide a medication reminder program for your services, it's going to be able to make you stand out and get you more referrals. Also brought to you by HomeCareAnsweringService.com, which takes care of all your answering for your home care services, home health agency, and hospice 24-7, 365 days out of the year, and even during the holidays. So let us handle all your phone calls, even those late night calls, and stop missing those calls. And of course, 10xpatientreferrals.com provides you all the training you need to be able to be great at marketing your home health, home care, and hospice services. So let's go ahead and get started with this podcast. Hey guys, so right now we're just waiting for a call from one of our coaching clients. We're going to be one of our, we're going to be doing one of our, you know, monthly coaching calls at, you know, this particular moment. And our goal is to be able to speak to a lot of the marketers that we're actually uh, helping and to be able to really guide them because they already have access to our online marketing platform uh, to learn how to market for your home health, your home care, or your hospice agency. And our goal is believing that we need to also support our sales team. So just as, you know, we believe in training your sales team, not just providing the materials, but really provide them with coaching. This is what we do in one of our coaching uh, levels is, is to be able to help, you know, our clients really learn. And, you know, when they're watching the videos, when you're watching the videos, to really learn that, you know, well, if you have any questions, we can actually still direct you and guide you guys to that. So. That's the goal here at this very moment. So we're just waiting for a call to come in and have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation to be able to really direct you to where you need to really grow. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's wait for the call to come in and hopefully we can give them some good value.
Hey, Israel. Hey, hey. what's up? I'm nothing much, man. How's it going? Uh, it's going. It's going. Um, I I'm really enjoying the video. They've actually helped quite a bit. Okay. Um. So the reason why uh I asked for this ASAP meeting is because I just got my my um my oh my gosh my evaluation. Okay. And it kind of scared me. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just want to talk to you, you know, get some outside opinion, um, on the best way to just go about, uh, <laughs> getting referrals. Okay. Well, you know, let, let's talk about that, um, that evaluation, right? So mm -hmm. what, you know, what specifically of the evaluation scared you? So, you know, by, by at least, you know, going from there, we can figure out, you know, what, um, what, what, what really want to, you know, we want to be able to talk about, right? So, um, mm -hmm. let's just go from there. Like how many, how many clients, how many, how long have you been working for them, by the way, first? Since October, October 7th. October 7th. Okay. So October, November, December, January, February. So we're hitting the fourth month pretty much. Um, okay. And how many, you know, how many referrals did you bring in this month? man not very many like oh actually you know what a ton but they were all you know the pairs that i couldn't take or due to uh office issues because we we're changing to home care home base they didn't go through so that's one thing so not very many qualified pairs i think i have like three um like admissions that are actually qualified pairs but with referrals, I probably have like 15 and I've been spending my time um, forwarding it to other people. So I've noticed that, that I've been spending a lot of time doing that. And that's okay. not what's so, going to. Let me, let me make sense of this, right? So because of the software, it prevented you guys from being able to admit a patient? Um, okay, so my, my patients in particular get discharged the same day as referrals. Uh, that they send the referral um so and it's like high cutie wound vax you know IV antibiotics so a lot of times okay so benefits for commercial insurances or medicare advantage have been taking a long time like two days uh since the change to home care home base so a lot of times i'm just declining or, or spending it elsewhere because I don't want the patient to not get admitted and for us to to look bad but at this point and that really doesn't matter I'm like I'm maybe I should not do that because it doesn't even matter at this point because it's like I need to keep my job anyway so I don't know what do you think <laughs> there's still more details I need to tell you yeah so I mean you know what, cause you know, these are, these are things that we hear from, from a lot of marketers. So, you know, I, I, I really don't understand why home care home base takes two days. Right. So, you know, an HIQH for follow, you know, for be able to see if a patient qualifies happens within the same day. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that the home care, the software is the cause of that. You know, if a patient patient's being discharged to home, if I do an HIQH, if I check into their eligibility checks and stuff like that, or if I have to call into an insurance, I should be able to find out right there and then, especially the patient being discharged from the home to the home from the hospital, right? Or from the nursing home. So Correct. So that should not really affect the flow of the patient. So, Correct. That but okay, so it used to be like that, that it was quick, but for some reason internally something has changed okay. where it, the uh, benefits have been outsourced. Um, regardless, you know, I, I can't do anything about that. I need to, I need to just figure something out for mm -hmm. like how to make it work. And I know that, you know, you, you talk about having, having us being part of the discharge plan, you know, days ahead, you know, that's, and just going up there and having them, the case managers, whoever's in charge, text me rather than just fax it over. Um, mm -hmm. And I've communicated with, with 
uh, several of them actually. You know, ever since I've seen your videos, I've actually it's it's like whole different ball game. Like motivated, like I, whenever I feel like I'm tired or whatever, I just think about what you say, and I'm like, okay, I can do one. I can do one more. I can give another call uh, and make an appointment. And I like how you say, you know, everyone's scared, and it's true. And then I figured there's nothing to be scared of, so I just make the call, and then hey, I've actually got an appointment. Yeah, so, so my question, so, so what's going on is right now, let me guess, um, that these referral sources refers a patient and it goes to the office. And sometimes the, st the staff in the office, unfortunately, does not check the facts fast enough to see that there's a referral? Correct. And it's, and it's through, um, through electronic facts. And I know I've actually done that before, like where, where we have our own facts and I give them my own facts number. And that works mm -hmm. um, with the smaller organizations but with the hospitals i can't do that because they have to it's a whole different thing it's, yeah, it's basically the hospitals that have i have the, the have those transfer softwares that they you know that they that they want you to be part of and stuff like that so there's all those kind of differences that happens so i mean I, so mm -hmm. I understand that so um you you're saying you had 15 admissions no i've had probably 15 referrals 15. um some, some of them that were good payers that I've had to turn down because we weren't fast enough because something's going on internally. Um, but qualified admits, the ones that actually count for me, probably like three. Okay, so, mm -hmm. you know, when you had this this meeting with, with, with your manager and stuff like that, right? So when you, mm -hmm. had, when you had your, your, your setup with them, what was the discussion about? So it wasn't, uh, so it, it's just a, something that I got over email. Uh, I haven't discussed it with her. She said to, to sign it as soon as I can and we'll discuss it on our phone call and I'm not going to sign it until I discuss it with her. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, one thing that I would suggest is talk about like, Hey, what's, what's going on with these 15, 15 admissions, 15 referrals. Um, but we're not able to convert these referrals in right so we want to be able to mm -hmm. ask them about those so you know are they saying you're not producing enough or are they saying you know is that what you're trying that's to it that's it to be honest man i it, it's really uh a lot of it is like 50 percent me to be quite honest <laughs> like like everything that you were saying about the and that wasn't me before but but like like the whole um like the type of marketers or whatever I, i'm not gonna lie i suck I think, at least I think I, I suck. Like th there's other things that were out of my control, but I feel like I, I know that I, I can, there's a way to like fix it, you know? There's ways to fix it. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I suck as well. I'm bad, I'm bad at marketing. <laughs> I, you know, I tell myself that all the time. You know, I'm worse than the person that I am tomorrow, right? So, you know, at this very moment, if I suck, I suck. I'll tell myself that and you know, my question is, so it just allows me to say, okay, well, what is causing me to suck, right? So you, you want to really analyze, just like when we're marketing out there, we go to a facility, we, we, we you know, I've, I've gone into some presentations and I walk out and I just, I just want to hit my head against the wall because I'm like, I really funk at that, at that presentation. And you're going to have bad days. You're going to have bad days in marketing. And, and I'll be honest, I even know myself enough that, if I'm going after the, a, a real big facility, I'm going to put it at the end of the day for me because during the first part of the, you know, my first two hours of marketing, I, you know, I have to like kind of get my engines going. So it's like, sometimes it's like, okay, let me just use the potential easy ones in the beginning to just warm myself up for the ones I really want in the end. That's so, what I do. That's so funny. That's exactly what happens to me. Yeah, so, <laughs> wow. And it's the truth, you know, you'll do a lot better because just like in cold calls, for example, when I'm cold calling people, you know, I know when I, when I listen, it's funny when I listen to some of my, some of my um, calls, cause I, I record my calls and I listen to it and I say, okay. And I listen to myself and I'm like, Oh crap. You know, I, I wasn't thinking about this. Like I can even tell myself what's going on when I'm sucking. Like, I'm like, okay, I know I'm not standing up good. I'm yeah. Thinking, I know yeah. I'm, I'm not holding on my voice. I know I'm not, I, I, I probably parched right there. I should have been drinking a little bit before I started that. So, you know, mm -hmm. you want to be able to assess yourself. So, so, okay, you're going to have your meeting with them. 
let's go ahead and just plainly go straight to the point. Like, what do I need to do to help you right now? Like where, you know, what's the first step that we need to do? What's the second and what's the third? Because I, I want to be able to figure out how I, you know, because one thing that I do is like, you need to tell me what's going on so that I can just jump in. I can't just like, oh, this is what you need to do. Let's figure out where you're having certain problems right now. Um, and don't say I'm having problems everywhere, okay? You can't do that to me. Um, let, let's go step by step. So what can we do right now to kind of change things up a little bit? Okay. Well, first thing, I'm not going to lie, I'm paranoid that because I've had these experiences before when I was part of the like upper, not upper, I'm sorry, when I was part of, of management where uh, upper management decides to just, you know, they, they already decided they're going to fire someone no matter what, and then they meet their numbers anyway, and then they get fired. So worst case scenario, that's what happens. But let's pretend like that, that doesn't even matter. I'm, you know, I'm still going to try. Sure. So that's one of my, that's one of the things that I'm paranoid um, about. Mm -hmm. yeah that's that's understandable i mean you know i mean the thing though is like you know there's no difference in me being paranoid that i'm going to get one of my referral sources stolen from me right it, it keeps you on the edge yeah. you know when, i think when people get, go into comfort mode that's when it's dangerous mm. so when people get comfortable that's when people that's when things can go off the roof right so all right so fine there, there's that possibility what's their minimum monthly for you right now that they expect uh for now i think it's eight eighteen because i'm on i'm on a ramp 18 but but they have to be medicare, medicare. that's the thing mm -hmm. all right so all right so okay so that's a, a little mini mini um objection slash obstacle that has to be overcome with my referral sources okay so 18 right now right how many referral sources do you really have um uh man not many i would say uh basically the facilities uh man let me let me look it up i would probably say 15 three facility three hospitals one wound care clinic uh and then just like onesies twosies from hospital i mean from uh oh my god i can't even think right now from uh doctor's offices and then there's sniffs um wait see i can't think right now wow okay how, it's, how, it's, it's getting how, to me <laughs> how many potential sniff uh referral stores do you have potential okay i have what about uh there's, these are real accounts. Like, okay. Um, five, I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have five SNF accounts. How many, how many physicians? Physicians, I would probably say, see, this is the problem. This is the issue right here. I don't even know. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so, so that's a problem right there I'm looking at, okay? So here's my thing. These are your accounts. How are they your, how are they your accounts? It's in my territory. My little territory. I've been letting that get to me, and that's part of the reason why. I have a I think who works in two cities, and, and they're small towns, and, and he brings in 40 patients a month. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. I mean, I'm, you know, so I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about the, a city like Tampa or Orlando or Chicago. I'm talking about small town community, 200,000 people or less. Right, right. So, you know, so number one, these are not your accounts. Mm. All right. So I'm going to give you a reason why, you know, you, you say you have a three hospital account, right? Right there mm -hmm. alone, even in a small town, you're looking at at least about five, 10 referrals a month. Mm -hmm. per hospital so if you had three hospitals and they are your accounts okay then you should be looking at a minimum of between 15 to 30 referrals a month just from those if you have mm -hmm. five sniffs then you should be looking an average of about 
15 to about 25 referrals a month. Okay, I'm uh, with there. The thing is, they really don't have that much Medicare. I researched it. Um, they they don't like uh, for a rehab for oh my god for short term stay. Why can't I think right now? For for rehab patients, they don't have that much. Uh, their census is is low. Um, that's the thing with that. So I need to focus on. Oh, well, every account really. Well, I, I don't know. You're the, you're the expert. I'm I'm yeah. talking too much. So what I'm looking at here is you don't have these accounts really. Because I mean, even if you mm -hmm. get, told me you had 15 referrals last month, the next question I'm going to ask you is like, where did those 15 referrals come from? Mm -hmm. From the hospital. Where did those 15 referrals come from? From the hospital, from a wound care clinic. That that one is actually that's actually a good account of mine that I think I've, I've been not uh, maintaining, fostering that relationship like you've mentioned in your videos. Divide those 15 to where they did, the, they did come from. So you, you see where, what, what, you know, when we're talking to, to clients, our potential referral sources, you know, you want to go in specific details. So I'm trying to figure out your specific details, right? So, you know, what I'm saying, those 15, where did they come from? Meaning that, you know, hey, Michael, I have, you know, five that came from this hospital three from that hospital, two from that hospital, two from the wound care guy, and a few from the doctors and the SNPs. You see what I'm saying? You need to know where your yeah. referrals are coming from. And the reason for that is you need to find out who your A clients are, your Bs and your Cs, right? And it, you, mm -hmm. it's up to you and how you want to determine that. Like, you know, so me, for example, an A client is anybody that gives me more than 20 in a month. You know, a B client is anybody that gives me, you know, between you know, three to 10 and, and a C client is anybody that gives me below a three. And then a D client is, we haven't gotten yet. So, you know, you have to know who your ideal clients are, right? Number two is you need to revisit all of them. Mm -hmm. Really, and you know, you, you need to do a brand new presentation. If you do have, if they, these are your accounts, When's the last time that you visited your hospitals? Um, today, one of them. Um, yesterday, another one. Okay. And the other one, last week, but that one, like, no one, no one is allowed to go in or whatever. It's close. I'm figuring out, you know, other ways to go around that, making phone calls. Um, and I've just, I basically just sold the casement. Huh? I understand, but who who are your contacts in the hospital? Uh, the case managers. Okay. And Why can't you uh huh. Case manager. Because they're not allowed to have anyone up there, and you something happened with administration. Uh, I don't, I have no idea what happened, but apparently, the people every, who took oh the hospital. Huh? Is it all the hospitals? No, it, it's one of them that's like that. That's super like tightly locked uh the other ones are like that as well but i figure out ways to just go up there but then i get like scared sometimes to go talk to them or whatever <laughs> so I, I just need to get over that at this point well, nothing to lose you don't have rapport with them you don't have a contact right so i mean if these people are your contacts if i call them i say hey it's it's michael you know it's regarding one of your patients and stuff like that can i speak to you about something they should talk to you. It shouldn't be treated as a, you're, you're, you're still being handled by a gatekeeper because if they're giving you patience, then there should be a relationship that's created, right? So, you know. Uh, yes, I agree. Yes. So and you, that's the case. I, I wasn't being clear. I'm, I'm sorry. The, they, they do talk to me when there's a patient that needs care or whatever, or I have to like refer it out. Uh, what I mean is like when there's no patients and I have no reason to be up there, that's when I'm, I have like the, the hesitation or whatever, like, but um, be like, hey, it's, you know, just wanted to be able to touch base with you with, with you for the month. You know, we get patients from you and everything, and, and and I just want to be able to see how I can make things and improve things better. Do you have two and a half minutes of your time that I can speak to you really quick? Okay. Okay. Right. You don't know that they're strict. You just haven't asked yet. Mm hmm. Right. That's right. And so what happens is. You're thinking about one hospital. That's why you heard me say, I'm like, is it all three hospitals that are strict like that? Right? Because what happens mm -hmm. is 
we, 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 we create these objections in our head and we end up actually pretty much saying, making an assumption that if one's doing it, all of them are doing it. And then, mm. and then we create our own, you know, our own fear fact, our own fear factor levels that, you know, I can't go to each one of these because we're, and, and that's the thing, we're generalizing things, you know, just like when some people say, well, we're not going to get patients because all these doctors are, are, are getting paid by, by home health agencies. Really? Mm-hmm. Not really. I, what, what you need to do is you need to really remove those objections that you have on yourself. Because if you, if, if this is your list right here, that you say, if these are, even if you're like not a choice, but your B choice, you're the second choice place. From what you just mm-hmm. told me, you should be getting 50 patients a month. Mm. I should. Because the Trello data says they have a ton of discharges. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing. But, you know, that's where you have to understand is that, you know, you have to jump in and be like, hey, how, how can we improve things? What can I do to make things better? You know, I just wanted to share some information with you. Grab some of the Trello health information right there. You know, what I would do is to, so, okay, so let's go ahead and categorize the hospitals, right? A, B, and C. Okay. Okay. For letter A, uh, that, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll call A that hard hospital that don't let people come up, right? That okay. hospital right there, who's your three competitors? <sighs> home health, no, home therapy and nursing. Uh, you know what the funny thing is? Our, on the Trella, but it's, it's three months behind or six months behind, we're still on top, actually on a lot of these referral sources, so I don't understand what's going on. You're still what? We're still on top, like on top of the list, like kindred at home. Now, you have to understand, like some of these things is mainly because it's Medicare patients. Because that's what Tre- Trella only uses Medicare information. Right, but that's also the only thing that counts for me, so. Okay, yeah, so watch this, right? Did you pull up the... Th- the, the, the top, because in Trella, you can go up to five agency comparables, right? Four competition. Mm-hmm. Reports. Yes, sir. So have you pulled out those reports yet? I have, but I don't, I don't remember right now what they are, but I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. So you don't, you don't have to pull it up right now. Here's the thing. What you need to do is give yourself at least an hour to, com- to look at all the comparisons, right? And I would use mm-hmm. Stella, for example, to pull up A, B, and C, right? Who are your competitors? And then what I would figure out is like, okay, who are the ones that I'm really competing against? Who's above me? Who- who's below me? Because when you start seeing that stuff, then you'd be like, oh, okay, right, let me understand that. So what you can do is you can use, th- this is where you can use Trella and an amazing, an amazing thing is that what you can do is you can pull up the information. Now analyze. Now I'm not saying you know be like okay, just because you pulled up one, that's good for three. No, pull up per site. Now that you're using Trello, compare your agency to theirs. Now, if any of the other agencies are a little bit above you, you know I would kind of take them off the list. But if you can get the top three and have yours compare there, and then what you can do is. You know, you can call the call the social worker, right? The discharge planner of the hospital. Say, hey, you know, I just want to be able to speak to you guys that we're one of your, you know, preferred providers. You refer to us several times, and I just mm-hmm. want to be able to provide better care to make it easier for you. At the same time, as you know, I want to share some reports with you guys of the current agencies that you're working with. And I was hoping if we can compare notes and maybe I can, you know, add more insight to make things easier for you guys. Right, so your what okay. you're doing there is using the Trello software, okay, to your advantage to be able to jump in. And like I said, I you know you have to when you're calling these people, you have to do what they call a false time constraint. You know, you give them a call like, "Hey, Jams, Michael, how you doing? Great. Listen, um, do you have thirty seconds of your time that I can uh, bother you with?" Right, so I'm going to bring up a false time constraint. I'm going to say, hey, look, do you have 30 seconds? Because the first thing that they're going to say is like, oh, God, you know, I'm busy, right? When I say, do you have 30 seconds? Most people will say, yeah, I got 30 seconds. Great. Listen, um, I know that you're currently working with several agencies and I'm one of your preferred providers. I want to be able to help you really and provide better care. 
and make your life easier. Do you have a quick minute today that we can just have a quick talk? I just want to be able to share mm -hmm. some insight with you about our agency, plus also the current agencies you're working with. And I know you're referring to, I'll mention all three or four, bam, 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 mm -hmm. give that to her. And they're gonna be like, what, wait a minute, how do you know I'm referring there? So, so now, they're, now you grab intrigue from them, right? Now you're saying, wow, mm -hmm. okay, looks like this guy knows something. Let's go from there. Right? Okay. And at the very same time, is what, what you're trying to do there is you're trying to lock them to have some meeting. Now, when you have that conversation, then all of a sudden they're gonna say, well, I'm busy today. Hey, listen, great, I agree that you're busy. You know, when would be the next time that you continue on to the video? Just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. This video is brought to you by one of our sponsors, HomeCareAnsweringService.com. So our job here at HomeCareAnsweringService.com is to be able to make sure that you stop missing any calls because we're going to handle the calls for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, even during the holidays. So mostly we're going to be doing a lot of your after hour calls to be able to give you some time to be able to rest rather than staying up or waking up in the middle of the night to answer any phone calls coming in for your home care, your hospice, or your home health agency. It's also going to be able to help you guys reduce the cost instead of hiring a full-time receptionist, especially if you are in the beginning process of starting your business, you want to be able to reduce your cost at this very moment. We are HIPAA compliant. Also, when we want to contact you, we can send you messages via text message, via email, or even via leaving a voicemail in your current phone. Another thing is we are just one price service, right? We don't charge anything different for our after hours on our morning hour calls. Also remember, we are industry specific. We only work with home health, with home care and hospice agencies. Also, it's a month to month program. We don't have any yearly or two year contracts. So you just pretty much pay as you go. Now we have three different plans. Typically, most of the people will sign up with our silver plan, which includes 100 minutes a month, which is $99 a month. And any additional minutes after that is just 95 cents. If you are starting your agency, you can start off with the basic plan, which is $39 dollars a month and you get a instant 20 minutes per month available for you this is really good if you're just starting off your agency and you're still working a full-time job and you don't want to miss any phone calls so sign up at this very moment to homecareansweringservice.com and stop missing those calls you have availability mm -hmm. and I mean, maybe i can buy a cup of coffee as well or just you know whatever snacks you want i just need three five minutes really quick just to be able to talk to you what I'm doing there is like, it's not gonna take me three minutes to do a presentation, right? It's gonna be a little bit 15 minutes, 10, 15, but I just need them to agree to meet me for that first five minutes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like saying like, oh, hey, you, I, I just need an hour to talk to you guys and do a presentation. What? Nobody has an hour to give. So I'm just saying, can I get 30 seconds of your time when I'm making the call? Yeah, you can get that, but I'm gonna take more. Because if, and, and the thing goes, never steal time, provide value, henceforth, your Trello product, the software that you have, you want to be able to you know, share that with them and provide value, right? So you mm -hmm. want to be able mm -hmm. to pull up those things with the comparable stuff. Now remember, you have your, you know, your Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B. That's what's nice about Trello is they have those kind of things in there, right? So I would look into that. And if you do that, which each one of these, A, B, C, you know, the, you know, the hospitals, go after your SNFs as well, you don't need, and the funny part is, you know, you should pull up, you should have all these information already in your hand now. It's already been, should have been printed up. You should have already had the PDF format created already and, and mm -hmm. ready to go. Right? Yeah. So once again, you have that. Then, you know, let's say you don't even get hold of them. I'll shoot them an email. Say, hey, listen, same exact thing. I just need 30 seconds of your time to be able to talk to you guys. I know you're working with this, this, and that home health agency. Just wanted to share some insights on how, you know, we can provide better care for your clients and address certain things that make things easier. So you want mm -hmm. to hit them with every single thing, you know, email, a cold call. If they don't answer, call again. You have mm -hmm. what? One, two, three, four, five, ten right now, sort of kind of referral sources. You should be able to call them every day if they don't pick up every day. Right, right. But hey, it's Michael. 
you know, just leaving a message is about a patient referral. Give me a call back. Here's my number. Right? Yeah. So you, you need to first meet with these people again because they're not real referral sources yet. You know, you may be in the list and every now and then they'll go down the list and they'll, and they'll, they'll toss you a bone. But three hospitals with guaranteed referrals and you're only getting less than 15 and you're not even getting the Medicare patients when they have them. You know, with, with SNF facilities, you know, I would love to see their, their, Medi their Medicare reports that says that they don't have any Medicare patients. It's impossible. It just really is to me. You know, when, when you say that they don't have Medicare patients, I don't think, I think they do. Mm -hmm. You know, if they are a skilled nursing rehab facility, they have Medicare patients. Impossible that they don't. The problem is, Correct. they're not going to you. Right. So that's, that's right. So these people are literally cold clients of yours that you need to reinvigorate or you know reset with them. Like, you know, I can from me talking to you right now, I can guarantee you with the hospitals, you probably met only less than one third of the referral people in there. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. Yep. And and I can almost guarantee in the SNF units. Less than ten percent. Mm -hmm. Probably one one sniff. You probably talk to a social worker one and one. Um, yes. No. I, okay. I'm not gonna lie. That that's like that was the case for a long long time. The what? This past week. This past that I haven't. I haven't really been man on it. I really have not. But watching your videos, I'm like, oh yeah, duh. Like that's what I used to do. Or, I mean, good videos. So, I've I've started actually. Within this past week, how many new people have you visited? Oh, let me look at my sales force. Uh, probably, man, I would say 20, 20. So you went to 20 of them, right? Within the past week. First, these are the first times you're visiting them, right? Correct. All right. Have you, have you made a follow-up phone call? Uh, yes, actually, but I, I'm pretty sure not on all of them, but yes, I've, Out of the all your follow-up video. How many calls did you make? Mm, man, I would say 10. 10? So you went 50% already? Out of all those mm. 20, how many, how many of them did you send an email? Thank you, email. None. None? None. Were you able to get any cell phone numbers from all of them? Not all of them. Did you send them a text message thank you card? Yes. Okay. How many? Mm -hmm. uh, on all of them that I got a text message for. I mean, I'm sorry, that I got, I can't, wow. That I've got their cell phone numbers. I, I did send the follow-up. Yeah, so these are the things that, that, that you know, has to be mindful. You, I mean, if you have, you know, I have guys who has 50, 50 you know, 100 visits a, a week and they're, they they make sure each one of them gets an email. It's not mm -hmm. that hard to send an email, right? It takes thirty seconds. Right. Nowadays, you have you know if you have an iPhone and Android, you can dictate your email nowadays. Correct. Correct. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've done it where you know I have a couple agents. What they do is the moment that they pick up the moment they. Instead of send, if they get a, if they get somebody's cell phone number, they don't even bother sending a, a an e card. They'll send them a video of them thanking say, saying thank you. Hey, John here. Just want to say thank you for meeting me for that quick thirty seconds. I truly appreciate it. By the way, I might stop by next week. What do you prefer? Donuts, bagels? What do you want? I'll drop it by. You see what I'm saying? It's like so. Number one, what I would really do is. I would spend a few hours getting my, 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 uh, my um, you know, my stuff from Trella, put it together, mm -hmm. save the PD, you know, go ahead and create the PDF comparables, right? And then what I would do with those comparables 
is then save it also as a PDF. The reason for why is we may actually email this out to somebody eventually as well. So save the PDF, print them out, make sure they're in full color. I'm sure your, your agency has a nice la colored laser printer at the office. So, I actually have one myself. <laughs> so. so you can, you can do a quick printout, you know, whether you want to use the pie graphs or you want to use the, the bar graphs that, that, that Trella has, you know, whichever you want to do, have that ready. You know, don't just, don't just seriously print out that and expect that's it. You know, make sure you put a cover page in there, you know, so that you're, you know, Hey, it's coming from you, your company logo in there, your contact information, all those things are such an important, you know, setup, right? Like all my, mm -hmm. all my, all my agents that I train that, you know, that goes under me and my companies, you know, they have to make things easy. Sometimes they actually have old school rubber stamps. Okay. So oh, with, with their contact information and they just stamp each page. So their contact information uh, is okay. going to be in one of the, in all the pages. Like we're, you, you, you don't want to miss any potential, what they call real estate that you can put your stuff in. Mm, that's so, good. I like that. Okay. So you have that. So once you create those, then I would seriously spend a half a day on calling all of them not just the, the guys that you kind of have a warm lead on i'm like okay so in your territory how many nursing homes do you have five and i said that not confidently but five okay mm -hmm. so, i say five because those are the ones that actually have some type of medicare patients should i just be hitting all of them or you know, See, that's, that, that's one of the things with. To be <laughs> honest, I know that they all have Medicare patients. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, okay. don't tell me that a nursing home doesn't have Medicare patients. It, it just, you know, not unless it's a, not, not unless it's a state owned, um, a state owned home health agency, I mean, a state owned nursing home, then you're going to see that sometimes where all they take is the Medicaid and all those stuff is because you know, the state owns it because they want to make sure that, you know, that some of those patients do get what they need to have. Right. So, mm -hmm. so that can be understandable for me that, that those, that's what's going on. But five, five nursing homes with no Medicare patients, you're, you know, you're going to have to show me their Trello report to, to really prove that. To okay. Because <laughs> if, if they, if these, you know, you, if, they have at least, let's say for example, they average maybe 10 Medicare patients a month. That's still mm -hmm. Medicare patients that's being discharged. Yep. You know, cause you remember Trella will tell you that these are how many home health referrals that they actually have. And then these are how many home health referrals that actually, you know, got admitted, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so you have to understand your, your, your software that you have in there. Um, so that's one thing I'll do. Once you have your presentation set up, you know, I would look into also, you know, if I, if I really look into it is that, you know, what are, what other marketing collaterals do you guys have? Like what, what, what does, uh, what does your agency have as giveaways that they want you to do to use for educational based marketing uh, to the facilities? A uh, ton. I mean, for every program, there is like five different ones that have five different, like they say it in a different way. Uh, they have the, the metrics that national outcomes. Basically, there's like, there's absolutely no excuse why I'm not being, I'm not successful, to be honest. Like, that's why I, yeah. So lots of. Uh, what, what I would first go for is what are your, not, not in the programs level yet. Um, because right now, first you need to show how you can help them, right? Not just through the programs. Um, what I would look into is like, do you have anything that shows why you guys have a uh, great communication? Man, that's a, it'll be great communication with me, not the office. That's the thing. No, no, no. Just, so. just how, why would, why would, an, you know, the question is like, why would somebody want to transfer to you? Maybe it's in, you know, they have problems with communication with their current agency, right? So, 
my question to that is, do you have any propaganda, right? We'll just, I'll just go ahead and use that. Do you have any propaganda, anything educational based marketing materials that shows people why you guys can provide great communication? Yes, I say that because that's there is a an... yes to me, Israel. Hmm? That's not a confident yes to me. Do you or do you guys it... not have it? You do. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? Like there, yeah, we have numbers on there. Like, is that is that what you mean? Like, there's no, like I'll, on the. I'll give, you, I'll give you a quick example, right? I'll give you a quick example. You know, so so for my agencies, when we come into facilities, that we say, hey, look, we understand that one of the most important things that you guys want with an agency is, is a place that has great communication. So let me show you guys our communication tree, right? These are the information who, we, who in our facility can help you. But really my name is in the top because I'm the main, I wanna be the main contact. I wanna be the main problem of the problems you contact me. So it's wanna be able to let you know, you know, right there alone is my number. Here's the office number. Here's my cell phone that you can text me directly. And here's my email, right? So, okay, then yes, we do. So you, you have to have a, something like that and, and like straight up big numbers. This is what you need to do. If you have a referral, these are our steps on how to provide, the, on how you can actually send us the referral to make things easier. Or the best choice ever, give me a call and I'll come here and take care of it for you. So you have to show that we're, so other than me saying like, hey, I'm available for you, I'm easy to get a hold of, right? Other than using words, I'm going to show them in paper. Most people won't believe anything until they see it in their hands and they visually see the paper or, or the promise. Okay. Or the video. So by me showing them that sheet, hey, this is how we provide great communication. One. Number two is, you know, you want to make it easy for them to um, send a referral. So do you guys have your step-by-step, -step, you know, education for what a facility needs to do to refer a patient to you and you know the expectancies and the and what they call the you know um the faqs the frequently asked questions You're, you know if kindred has it they should have something like that if not something needs to be created you know who do i call if i have a patient this how do i find out how many how you know so we, there'll be a question for that how fast will i know that the patient's eligible for admission i'm going to say there hey it takes 10 it takes about 10 to 15 minutes the moment we receive it and we'll notify you right away. If the patient has these type of insurances, it might take this much amount of time. You know, okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. I, I'll put a question. How soon should I refer the patient to your agency? Well, I'm like, you know, we normally, we can take patients, you know, the very same day, but we truly accept that we truly, you know, rather have the patient where we know the patient ahead of time and be part of the journey so that we can make things easier easier for you by ordering the DMEs for you, by doing this for you, by doing that for you. You know, by me, by me creating an FAQ for, for a discharge for home health, it's literally me answering all their problems and questions and giving them the solution, which is making me the solution. Right. So I will always have something for communications. Ease of, ease of referrals, you know, something, an education-based based marketing material for that, you know, and then why they need to choose my agency. Well, hey, look, I truly agree that we're just like the other agencies offering the same services. And I know you're using these three agencies. Let me show you a couple of comparisons why maybe we might be the right choice for you guys. You know, we've even done it where we, told, we tell agents, we tell a uh, discharge family, just to let you know, these are the lists right here, you know, we take high acuity patients sometimes, so you know that you know we kind of lag a little bit less than what this agency is doing with cardiac patients. So if if you want, send them the cardiac patients. But diabetic patients right here, we're doing a lot better than they are. So you know, so we can kind of do that a little bit. So it, you know, sometimes by being humble and telling them these are my flaws, but this is where I, you know where I excel. You know. Pe that's where people honestly starts getting rapport and trust with you is that you're, you're willing to, you're willing to literally say, Hey, let, listen, you know, I have a problem here. So I would go after these, these agencies right here and really, really spark a conversation with them. Right. That's number one. I, you know, I would, what are you giving away as uh, tchotchkes right now? 
I'm not. That's the thing. I'm just giving away a little collateral that we have, like little like keychains that yeah, say Kindred on it. Um, like, huh? Here's the thing: the fact that your agency is giving away keychains makes me laugh. Mm hmm. Because when's the last time, honestly, people nowadays want keychains? I mean, it's so bad now. People want just, people like just like their their key fobs and keep it. They keep it in the bag now. Nobody wants mm -hmm. keychains anymore. So wh where's the where's the food? Where's the sweets? Right. You right. guys, have the, you guys have the money. You see, that's what I'm saying. You can't market and you know and market with not all the weapons that you have. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. 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 And then remember, we talked about those two questions to ask them. No, <laughs> yeah. and I'm sorry, but I will. I will learn. That's why we practice drill and rehearse. That's why we do these consults, right? That's why some some agencies literally have their their their, their marketers report to us on a daily basis. Hey, hey doc, hey doc, hey Mr. Social Worker, hey Mrs. Social Worker, hey Mr. Discharge Planner, you know. If you don't want me asking, what made you choose to work with those agencies in the past? If you have three things, that uh, can improve, great, interesting. All right, perfect. Other than that, you know, if there are three things they can improve on to provide better care for your patients, but at the very same time, take great care of you. And just to let you know, even the pause that I'm doing there, right, is part of, and even take great care of you, what would those be? You need to find out where their problems are. You need to find out, hey, you know what, man? I, I need to know what's going to make them move. What's going to make them, you know, is it pleasure? Is it pain? Right? Like, for example, do you have, do you have a mailbox in your car, in your house? Uh, down, downstairs. I live in an apartment building. Apartment building. Okay. You know, let's say, for example, I call you one day and I say, you know, hey, Israel, you know, I put $100 in your mailbox. And this is like three in the morning. You're sleepy, three o'clock in the morning. And I say, hey, just to let you know, I put I put a, I put a hundred dollars in your mailbox. Are you gonna get up to get the hundred dollars? No. Exactly. But imagine if I told you, hey, just to let you know, there's a bunch of crazy kids right now breaking into mailboxes. Mm. And they're in your apartment complex right now. Are you gonna call nine one one? Are you gonna do something about it? Yes. See, pain sometimes make people work more than pleasure. So. It's just the truth. We, we, we will literally, you know, move for pain. And so henceforth, what are three things that made you choose to work with agencies in the past? That's just fluffy stuff that we can give them answers to. If there are three things those agencies can improve on, what would those be to provide better care for your patients, but take great care of you? Th those are the things where we, you know, we need to really hit because that's what's going to make them move away from the current agency they're working with. You know, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's it's like the, you know, it's like the candle thing, right? You know, you know, you you wave your hand over it, you know, it's perfectly fine, but you keep your hand still, you're going to get burned, right? So mm -hmm. if they're experiencing problems, like they're a little bit bad with communication, every now and then, this and that, right? then what's gonna happen mm -hmm. is for them is they're not really gonna move much because the pain of them having to actually find another agency is a lot worse than just dealing with the current problems they have. So by me now, literally digging in deep, like, hey, you know, you know, these type of calls, if they're not answering it, that can be, that's important for you guys. So for us, this is why it's easier to get a hold of us. So now I'm like talking about the pain points and making them realize what's going on. And then they're like, oh, okay, well maybe I should move. So, you know, having the right marketing collateral, number one, you, you know, you guys have the budget. You're a big boy. You're a big company. Use the, use the credit card that they gave you. I had okay, to. Okay, this is going to sound. Go ahead. Sorry. For, for me wise, I had to be cheap because I didn't have my, my giveaway money when I first started fully marketing for my agencies, because I, I still couldn't make sense of my budget, was somewhere around $1,000. And I didn't know how to spend it correctly. So, you know, you have to look into yours, like, you know, what's your budget? Then use that. Yeah. 
You know, there, 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 is no, there is no reason why you're not buying your, your giveaways. There's no reason that you don't have a bunch of cookies in your car. There's no reason that you didn't go to Sam's Club and bought some boxes of granolas that's ready to go and, and bought some repackaging. Mm -hmm. you should I have, agree. You should have all those because you can't go in with just marketing collateral. It's, it's funny enough, when you go in with a marketing collateral, they won't even look at your collateral. Mm -hmm. You know, they yep. just you know. So step one, step go one, to HEB, <laughs> go ahead, tell me, sorry. Yeah, step one, number one for you is what I would do is I would, I would create more collateral, you know, the comparison for your hospitals, for your nursing homes, I would do that. Um, that that'll be the first step I would do. And then kind of mm -hmm. start looking into it and really know it, know the fine points for each one of them, that's one. Number two is, you know, do you have your top 30, 30 physicians in your area? Uh, yes, it's on Trello. I saved it on my, is that what you mean? Like I, I saved it on my favorites, like the ones that have the most potential, You know, but they don't, what's nice go ahead, go ahead. Kind of put your favorites, but just like favorites that happens to your emails, you don't go back in your favorite emails. Right. Right. So, you know, Yes, it's a nice tool. You know, just like anything else. You, you, I just heard you say the word Salesforce, right? Mm -hmm. you, your company uses Salesforce. That means your company is paying thousands and thousands of dollars a year on a CRM software. But if it's not used correctly, a $10 software would be a lot better. So, yeah. you know, the fact that when I ask those questions, you should have it. Like, it's Trella has it. Fine. So pull up. You know, you say you know, there's only five nursing homes, there's only three hospitals, right? So mm -hmm. <clears throat> that means if you're really doing this full-time marketing thing, you should have get you should get at least 90, the top 90 physicians in your area that you want to be able to work with. Because you should be able to visit all 100 of these places in a month, in a, in a week. <clears throat> also, um, are you familiar with the, um, you know, are you, are, you, are you familiar with the high utilization and low utilization um, values or volumes that are in Trello? Yes. All right. So what I would kind of do is I would, the 90 physicians you're going to go after split them up, you know, go ahead, you know, and I would maybe 60% is the high volume providers. And then, and then in the bottom will be the low utilization one. <coughs> okay. So when, when you, Israel, just give me a second. Okay. Let me grab a soda really fast. So if you're familiar with your low utilization and high utilization, um, you know, places, then you want to figure out, figure those out, right? With those physicians, because you want to go after the high and the lows. And of course, in the middle, as much as possible, figure out 90. You need 90 providers, man, because once you have those, once you start picking all of them, hey, guess what? You know? you're perfectly fine. Now, let's go ahead and not do 90 for this week, right? How about that? Let's not do 90, let's do 50, okay? Okay. Let's do 50, let's, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna hit you with a high volume yet, right? But you should hit 90, right? But let's do 50. So that means you have 535 right now, five hospitals, I mean, three hospitals, five SNPs and a wound clinic. One, one LTAC, that's a kindred LTAC and they haven't been referring, <laughs> so. Another thing, if kindred owns the LTAC, why aren't you getting those patients? At least 70% of them. They're, they're going elsewhere. They're going to, they're going to home care providers of Texas is what, what it's called. I see this other rep there 
all the time. That's fine. But technically, you guys have, you know, you guys have a hit in there, right? So, not, not anymore. But you do because you guys share a company name. That's true. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yes, but sir. the problem is the other agencies prove that they have better contacts. You see, when mm -hmm. you don't visit someone, I, like I said, marketing is like finding that, that beautiful woman or that, or, you know, a, you know, somebody's boyfriend or somebody's girlfriend, somebody's husband, somebody's wife, right? It's that dating scene. If you're not present, they're going to find somebody that's going to be emotionally able to, to take care of them. Mm. And if you're not present, you're not showing yourself on a weekly basis or at least a minimum of every two weeks, every 10 days, they're going to go elsewhere for attention. That's going to solve their problems. So let's choose 50. So you're going to find 40 physicians. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to spend a few minutes getting the reports for the hospitals, the LTAC, the, um, uh, the SNFs, okay? You're going to get those. So, bam, you have that, right? The mm -hmm. next thing yes. you're going to do is the 40 uh, physicians you choose that you're going to go after. And, and you want to pay attention, right? You know, do you, are you familiar with high utilization and low utilization of services? Yes. Okay. It's, on, it's on the Trello. Yes. I understand. It's on the Trello. Okay. Fine. Do you understand what it is? Does that mean that it's out of all the patients they have, um, if they're, like, let's say someone has a thousand patients, then they only use 10% or whatever. It's a hundred, is it a hundred a year? Pretty much meaning is that, you know, sometimes like, you know, Hey, they have this much amount of patients, right? that they're referring to home health, high utilization is they're following through with the patients. Mm, okay, I did not know that. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got it. it can be said where a physician, right, a physician referred 4,000 patients last, month, or last year. Okay, we can say that. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at how many patients did he actually follow up with, let's say it says, 3,000 of them, that means he has a high follow-up rate. Some physicians okay. just refer, but they never follow through. So you're going to see maybe 1% follow-through rate. That means, okay, what's going on? That means it's going to another person. Typically, sometimes these are people who are, um, have certain specialties, right? So that's where we can kind of figure that we want to be able to go after, right? So, you know, figure out those particular... Um, those particular uh, physicians and see it and, and, and go after them and, and have an approach that's different for each one of them. Right. So, you know, if they're low volume, for example, you know, maybe that we can provide them some information, you know, so, you know, that they can benefit, you know, from assistance and understanding like the value of what the home health services are. Cause some physicians just don't care. And it's the truth, but you know, Hey, maybe they just need more information. If, Let's say, for example, we're targeting the high volume providers. You know, we want to be able to like really say, hey, these are the programs that we have that can make things easier. So each one of them is different for you. So once again, when you go after each one of these physicians, when you, when you figure out who you're targeting, same thing, just like what we did with the hospitals and the nursing homes. Who are the top four agencies that they're referring to? Mm -hmm. Right? Because when we yes. look at that, if I see a physician who's, who I want because they have a high referral rate, for example, but then it shows me that he's only referring to one home health agency, I'm not going after that mm -hmm. because he really loves that agency. But as I go down the list and I see a physician that, that refers to three agencies, four agencies, five agencies, those are the ones that I want to be able to jump into. I'm not trying to be number one yet, but can I be number two and three and take a couple or three of those patients from me? You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, sir. So that's what you need to do. You need to spend, you know, a weekend doing that, whatever you need to do, 
plan it out. Um, maybe tomorrow, if I were you, I would, I would literally visit your current, the, the people that you're saying that you are, um, you are their preferred provider, or you're, you, you know, you get referrals from. I, cause what, today's Wednesday, right? Or Thursday? Yes. It's Wednesday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. So what I would do is I would literally do that right now with those facilities and go after them. So whether on Thursday, I would, you know, tomorrow, I would spend a day getting all these reports out of the way. That's one thing. Printing them out. Have a folder for each one of these sites you're going to. You see what I'm saying? You're preparing yourself. Have a separate folder for each one of them. So you have what they call, you know, your black book or your, your plan of attack, your, you know, you know, what your CIA files, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So once you have all of that, I continue on to the video. Just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. The video is brought to you by medicationreminderprogram.com. Are you trying to look for that one edge up to be able to get you more referrals or to get new referral sources? Well, that's medicationreminderprogram.com. If you start offering this for your patients and future patients, you're going to be able to show future referral sources that you're doing something different, that you're providing better services than your competition. The daily reminder program goes like this. We will call the patients for you twice a day and remind them to take their medications at 9 o'clock in the morning and at 5 p.m. A top reason for hospitalization of seniors is not taking their medications. So what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be giving them comfort of mind, both family and referral sources. So sign up to medicationreminderprogram.com right now. There's three packages available, but at the very same time right now with code 50 off, you can actually get 50% off our gold plan and the platinum plan. So just stop by medicationreminderprogram.com and let us help you get more referrals. Let's go back to the video you're currently watching. That's, then I would circle back and figure out, you know, what, um, what marketing materials you can have or create. You know, I, I would suggest uh, something for communications. Number two is something in regards for how easy it is to refer to your company, you know, and then I would, number three would be a frequently asked questions sheet and have the answers on that. Right. Um, so by you having all that, you're preparing, like I said, tomorrow, then on Friday, straight up, go for that first, the, the, the three hospitals, the five, the five sniffs, the one LTAC, the one wound care clinic, and whatever physician that you already have in your list that you can do, go after mm -hmm. those, all right? And then starting Monday, go after the 40. Okay. Um. So, you know, so if, if, if you're able to, you know, if you're able to do that, then, you know, that, that'll be, that will, that will be my best suggestion for you, man, is, is really that if you're able to, um, do that, then, then right there, it starts off the, the lead. And on the weekend, um, I would spend some time kind of, I would spend some time making sure that I'm jotting down, you know, where, where you're going, like, you know, plan out your, your, uh, plan, plan out your, um, who are you going to visit first on the, on the day, second, third, fourth? Plan your attack is, is, is pretty much the main thing that, that you need to do. Do you have any questions? I do. So this is, this is I took notes. I'm going to follow what you're saying. Um, the one thing, is, yeah, I have a question. So if you were, so if you had a rep that you decided that you wanted to fire, what would make you decide to not fire them within like two months? Like what would, like, let's say this person is, I don't know, like, yeah, like that you just wanted to just get rid of, would there be like, what, what would they have to do for you to change your mind? For me? Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, like, like, cause I want to hear from a, from a manager, from an owner, from someone who has had to do that. I hire fast and I fire faster. So I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that you want to talk about that stuff. 
Okay. I'm not, a, I'm, not I, a, I'm not as, you know, so you would rather work with work. You want that answer from an, inex, you want, you want an inexperienced manager sometimes that really just go by hope and be like, Oh, I hope I think they, they can produce themselves. You know, I've, I've had some people I'm like, when I'm about to fire them, when I'm about to fire a person, they're fired. I, you know, it, you know, I, I hate to admit this, but I've had people say, but I have kids. I'm not here to feed your kids. That's your job. Mm -hmm. That's my answer. I'm not here to feed your kids. I just got married. Mazel tov. So, so do you like, do you put them on a performance improvement plan or something or, or yeah. do you just like, no, you just, you just, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious. I'm, I mean, so a lot of the stuff, go, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. So if the company that you're with, where you are at this moment, they're not one of me. They're not like me. They, they aren't like you. Is that what you said? No, because you're past your you're past your th your ninety days already. Got it. You know you're you're, you're past your ninety days already. Um, if they want, if if they really live by the rule, you, you fire somebody before ninety days, you don't have to pay them unemployment. So, you know, you know you you don't have to you you don't want to really worry about that stuff. The truth. Um, so what, one thing is that, you know, what I would do, and so what I'm guessing is right now with all this, now you're, now you're thinking about, mm, should I really put in this, all this work this week and all of a sudden get fired by the end of the week because I'm not going to be able to get my results right away within that week? No, that's not an option for me. Uh, I, I, I'm going to put in the work. I'm just like, that's just one of the things that like, oh man, it's like one of like my, my fears or whatever, but I just have to like put it aside. I'm not even thinking about that. You know, it's, it's, it's natural human reaction to, to be worried about, you know, especially if we know ourselves that we are trying, we want to do better, that we want to do something about life and stuff like that. So, you know, what, 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 I, what I would kind of do, honestly, is straight up like bull rush your manager. Like straight up bull rush your manager. Like, like show them how proactive you are. Like don't 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 allow them to control the conversation. Be like, hey, listen, you know, um, just want to let you know I I spoke to somebody who's you know who's giving me additional ideas on how to use the Trello Health, how to make it better for the presentation. Um, you know, just you know, I, I'm trying to learn additional stuff. And other than that, um, you know, try, try to be proactive right away. Like jump the gun before they can even start saying. You know, because then all, all of a sudden you let them know you're doing something more, you know, then at the same time as that's going to help you better, you know, because you're, you're, it's you're showing, showing you're being proactive rather than, you know, you're just waiting for them to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so that's, um, that, that's just where we're at. If, if I, if that, if that was me, if I was in your situation, if that's what you're thinking, where you might be like, Hey, like, listen, you know, just to let you know, I print, you know, these are the people I'm targeting now this week, right? So I have the list of the physicians. I, I went through Trella Health and I, I literally, so you literally start telling them everything that you're doing step by step. And you can say, hey, is there anything that I'm missing here? Should, should, do you guys, do you feel that, you know, that I should go after the high utilization more than the low utilization? And if I go with the low utilization type of, you know, referral sources, is there collateral that we have that I can use to make it better? You know, it's like, it's like in school, you know, Sometimes students who are failing never go to the teacher and say, I need help. Mm -hmm. Right? They never, and not until the later stuff when the teacher's saying you're failing. Right? So the students that, you know, the ones that, you know, the better thing is like, hey, being proactive. Like, how often do you guys have your, your monthly meetings? You know, how many times are you visiting them? How many times are you talking to them? Right? You know, um, so... That's what I would look into. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, you know, once I make a decision for, for a marketer to fire them, I fire them. Um, before I used to be one of those guys that just was like, okay, I'll give them another chance. I'll give them another chance. Um, have, mm -hmm. Has marketers proven to me that they can make a better, that, that they can do better in a second time? But if they're given an opportunity, of course there is, right? 
But when I learned, unfortunately, the percentage was very minimum. I just decided that let me just go with the other the other things, the way to do it, and just get rid of them. Because yeah, yeah, the percentage of, of success for me is is not as good. I would rather I would rather work with mediocre marketers than than low marketers, right? Because you know I can set the bar better. I can if I can double somebody who's a mediocre marketer, they're good. If I can then double a high end marketer. Wow, even better, right? The people in the bottom of the list, you know, there are chances that half of them are going to be proactive and want to learn more. There are half of them that are not. The question is, I, I just feel that maybe your management is not proactive enough by really working with you guys one on one. So that's where the, the problem that can happen from there, right? You, you know, Sometimes, unfortunately, you know, having what they call crutches, like like a CRM, um, like the software that you guys use to find page, you know, referral sources. Um, people think that a company might all of a sudden, well, we're giving you all the tools, you guys should be succeeding. And mm -hmm. they forget the part that sometimes there's a human touch to it, that there has to be accountability, that there has to be somebody that leads the charge, and not just by you know, hey, we have this software, we have that software. You know, so do you just just go in there and be like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is this is you know, this this is, has been my plan the past couple of weeks. I, I'm actually in a restructured zone, trying to make sure that I I, I do better. Um, and so my hope is that I'm gonna be, and then you can literally say, this is my this is my marketing strategy. I'm gonna be visiting 50, 50 of these people every week, and I'll follow up with them. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, if you follow up, you know, 80% of referrals or sales happens between the fifth and the 12th uh, visits. And so I want to do that. You know, mm -hmm. I created, I have an email campaign that I'm going to do that I'm going to send every day. Like once you start talking, bam, this is what, this is the plan. This is what I'm going to do. This is my attack. If she, if she or he may have the thinking, because once again, Let's not assume that they're going to be doing anything right now. Because if we, you know, you know what they say, assumption is the mother of all bad words, right? So mm -hmm. um, the thing, though, is let's not assume. But that doesn't mean you don't react. So you don't be proactive. So, like, literally, when you guys have the meeting, they're like, hey, listen, before, before we start, you know, I, you know, I want to be able to hear from you, and I want the constructive criticism. You know, this is my plan this week, and I was hoping to get your ideas on things. And just literally hit them. So this is my follow-up process. This is what I'm going to be doing. Visiting this much amount. I used Trello for this. I printed out all the reports already. So I know when I go in, I already have what I need to do. Do you see what I'm saying? Once you do that, they're going to mm -hmm. be like, crap. And then you say, are there any three things that you, can, that, there are, that you feel that you can help me with that you can add to make it better for me? You know, just literally hit them with that question. You know? You know, do you have any suggestions? Because I want to be able to improve and do better and hopefully that you can help me with it as well. And bring them into the mix. And then when they see that you're at least doing that, you know, if, they, if you are in a chopping block, maybe that buys you another month or two. Mm. Right? And then now is where you really hit it and you better, you better market. Because look, you watch some of the videos. We had that one initial talk and I said, I need you to visit 100 people a week. I didn't see you do it. Right. Right. Sometimes just because we know it, that doesn't mean that we're going to do it. And that's where, and then the thing though is, even if we do it or try it for the first two weeks, can we consistently do it? Yep. So that's where I need you to be. So like literally tomorrow, your job is research, whatever, whatever, market, whatever, market research, each one of the targets you can do, 40 physicians, Mix it up with a maybe 70, 75% 70, high utilization, then 20, 25% low utilization, you know, referral sources. And then once you have all that list in, go after that, those, those three nursing homes, five uh, sniff units, one LTAC, one uh, wound, wound clinic that you said, um, hit those people, right? Um, 
And then literally next week is go after every one of them. Oh, have another marketing collateral that talks about all the insurances you guys accept. Oh my gosh. See, that's the thing. That is the, that's the major thing. It, it really has to be all Medicare for me. <laughs> so but that, that's one of the objections I, I was, I was going to ask. Your facility accepts all insurances though, right? We do, but the only thing that counts for me Once again, is Medicare. Okay, see, see, now you're being selfish. Okay. You see what I'm saying? This is where, this is where we have to understand, we're not here for ourselves. If you want to win in this game, you need to help the people that are referring patients to you. I understand and completely agree that Medicare is where it's all about for you. Medicare is where it's all about for all facilities. But if you're not willing to help them with every other thing, how are they going to start giving you Medicare's? I hear you. Okay. I hear you. You need to switch your mindset. And always remember, it's all about them than you. Got it. Right. I, I, gave, you, I, I gave you an idea. Like, this is a good education-based marketing material. It's a good marketing collateral. Have the different insurances. But I didn't say, you know... And you jumped in like, no, I, no, but I, I need only Medicare. See, I'm giving you the tip. You cannot change it what you're thinking because sometimes when we think just about, you know, well, this is what I want or this is what I would do, rather than finding out from the people that we're trying to work with and finding out what they want. It's not what you want. It's not what, you know, what your agency wants. It's what they want. And when we address the fact that we're more worried and we want to care for the referral sources and what they need, what they want, where they're struggling, then in turn, trust happens and it returns to us. That's where the return of the reciprocation happens. Remember, no like and trust. That's where it is. So, okay. So now that that's being said, I, I completely agree. The reason why I said about the the Medicare is because that's like what the, what the, not performance improvement, but like the, the thing that I got sent or whatever, like that, mm -hmm. the qualified admits, it's very um, cut, like cut and dry. Like you must have these number uh, of Medicare admissions. Mm -hmm. So for, for me, I totally agree with what you're saying. So with that being said, I've, a lot of my referrals have been non-Medicare and I had to turn down and I have been helping referral sources. So there's probably a way for me to go back and let them know that I've been helping them with that. So, I mean, I mean, how would, how would you go about doing that? Cause me, I have been. Let, let me ask this question, right? When, when, when they referred you a patient, did you say no to it because your facility said no? Or did you say no because they were not Medicare's? I said no because the facility said no. Just making sure, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so, you know, and, and that's the thing, right? So, you know, once again, let's treat every one of these facilities as brand new. Okay. And let's know who you are. Okay. That's, that's where you really need to start off. Like, I need to have a conversation with these people. I need them to meet me. I need them to know who I am right? You need you, right? So, you know, let them know you. Mm -hmm. so let's try this, for example, right? I'm the social worker you want to talk to. Give me a call right now. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? It's Israel with Kindred. Okay. How can I help you? Hey, so I just wanted to call the to touch base. Um, I know that y'all, we were your primary uh, provider for a few months. I'm busy. And I noticed that the, you're, you're busy. Oh, okay. I completely understand. I just want to take 30 seconds of your time just to touch base and to see how I can better help you. You can call tomorrow. Um. I failed already. How do I fix that? All right, so, I, I paused. Yeah, so number one, you, you went straight for sale, right? 
you, if you really pay attention, you went straight for the sale. And then when I say I'm busy, that's when you try like, well, I, I just need 30 seconds of your time. So then you became begging. Mm, mm, okay. Right. Number two, you gave me your company name. Uh. You know, number two, you never, you, you didn't know who I was. How do you know I was a decision? <laughs> right. That's true. Now, if you did know that I was, then you would say, hey, Michael, you know, hey, Michael Israel. Right. If you knew my name, then you would have said my name, but you didn't know my name or you assumed you're talking to the decision maker. I could have been like, I'm the janitor. I just answered the phone. Mm -hmm. So when we're calling, we're going to say, you know, ring, ring, like, you know, if I know the person, but like, John, it's Michael. You know, I know you're busy right now. So take 30 seconds of your time. You know, is that possible? It's regarding for one of your referrals. Like referrals. Yeah. One of your patient referrals. Yeah. Perfect. Listen, um, you know, don't want to spend much of your time, but you know, do you happen to have maybe two minutes of your time, 90 seconds, 120, 120 seconds of your time? Just want to be able to touch bases with you regarding some of the, you know, referrals you sent us in the past. They're gonna be like, well, I'm busy right now. Hey, listen, I totally understand you're busy. You know, that's, that's why I said I just, need, I just need two minutes, 120 seconds of your time. You know, other than the fact that you're busy, when would be a good time to meet with you? Tomorrow, two days from now, three days from now, which one works for you? Mm. I still haven't mentioned my company name. Right? Because right, I, right. I need the mindset to be, to be guessing. He's going to say something like, well, what company with? Hey, perfect. Great question. It's Kendra, by the way. You know, I have, you know, I'm the new, guy. I'm the new rep in the area. And so we, we take care of, we're one of your preferred providers. Um, you know, my main goal here is to be able to, you know, put a face with the name. And my goal is to really find out what are things that we can do to make things easier for you. By the way, um, you know, before you say anything, you know, do you have time right now? Because if the conversation is still going on, do you, do you have time right now? Can I stop by for 120 seconds, two minutes? Just want to share something with you because, you know, I know you're already working with, you know, ABC Home Health, these three home health agencies. Um, I just want to be able to sit down and, and see, you know, how they can probably provide better care for you. And at the same time as see what I can do for you as well. You free, you free today? No, I'm not. Great. When tomorrow, the following day or the next day that you're available, I'll bring the coffee. If you don't like coffee, tell me what you want. You have to take control of the, the conversation, right? So um, another thing is, you know, for me wise, if, if I'm among with my friends, if I'm with my friends, right? You know, I'm, yeah. you know yeah. I'm with my friends. I'm just like, hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, my God, can we go here? This is awesome. This is what I want to do. Let's go to that. Let's go, let's go to that new restaurant. It's so amazing. You know, that's, you know, because I'm energetic. I'm happy. I talk fast. But when it comes to business, I don't want to sound salesy. And salesy people go up on pitch. Hey, sir, thank you so much for stopping by. Can I get you something? Mm. Very salesy. It, 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 it's red flags for people. Somebody, oh my God, somebody's selling me something. All right. So, hey, John, it's Michael. I'm going to talk to you about, you know, you have, you have 30 seconds of your time. You busy? You're catching a bad time? No. Okay. You have 30 seconds? Sure. Perfect. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you about, you know, some patient referrals. I'm not going to talk high. I'm not going to talk low. I'm actually going to go, my tonality will go in a flat line going down. Hey, John, it's Michael. It's also a psychological effect of literally saying, I'm talking down to you, meaning I'm higher than you in category. Mm. It's not me disrespecting you. It's me just saying, hey, listen, I'm of high value. It's a perception, right? You know, just those small nuances happens. What happens is when we get nervous, we high pitch, we go up. And then when you yeah. get a and are like, I'm busy right now. Um, I know that you're busy right now, but I just need 30 seconds of your time. Now you're just like, because what happens is, you know, first we're, it, the, the biggest mistake of salespeople is they go high pitch and then they can hit an objection and then it's high pitch and rapid voice because you, your internal 
you know, your internal self is like, here's, oh my God, alarm bells. They're, they're kicking us out. They're kicking us out. You know, mayday, mayday. They're about to eject it. So, you know, you're going to try to spit in so much information about your company within a smaller time. And then all of a sudden you, you sound needy and you can't sound needy just because you're getting objections. That's where you, that's where you hold your ground. You know, Let, let's, let's try this. For example, all right? You go to me and I say, look, I'm busy. What's your response? Um, completely understand. I know that you're busy. I've worked with people, organizations in the past. That's why I'm here to, to help you. Really? How can you help? Them? Well, I, I'd like to talk about some patient referrals and to see how we can, uh, oh, what was that? Patient referrals? Which ones? Uh, well, there's several. Uh, I'd like, uh, I'm wondering if you have one to two minutes or even 30 seconds to talk about them because I have several of them that I uh, would like to talk about. Well, how are you going to help me with them? Well, you know, I just want to go over and see how we can improve um, and yeah, see what ways we can improve and to better help you maybe communicate better. Communicate? What do you mean by communicate? Well, I know in the past that um, there's been some glitches in communication and I really want to improve on that. I'm I'm committed to, to helping you and you know, making your life easier. And that's why, that's why I'm just asking for 30 minutes. I mean, sorry, excuse me, 30 seconds. Yeah. So what you did there is like, you know, if you talk about like you started about communication, you, you just literally said that we have problems with communication. with you. Got it. Well, so if, if, if we did that, we don't mention it, right? Cause we like, did. You don't bring up crap that we do. Never bring up something okay. like that, <laughs> especially in a phone call that have nobody hasn't even met you. You know, be like, you know. So I, I like the I like the transition you're going, but you know, pretty much you were letting me lead the questionnaire as much as possible, right? You know, you need to be mm -hmm. able to. So, so like when I start, you know, what do you mean? And then what, how can you help me? Like, hey, you know, hey, gr great question. You know, a lot of the a lot of the uh, facilities that we work with, just like you. Um, you know, there, you know, there are a couple things that makes them choose to want to work with agencies. And, you know, other than the fact that, you know, what I want to be able to do is, is be able to have, like I said, it's a quick conversation with you. When would be a good time to meet with you? Because I want you to understand that these phone calls are not meant to pitch your company. Mm. Never pitch your company in a phone call. Never think that you can establish grace and value in a phone call. You need that appointment. You need to meet up with them. The goal of a cold call is an appointment in regards to our industry. You're not trying mm -hmm. to sell packages. You're not trying to sell services. You're not trying to sell the next you know, set of knives that are amazing. Your job in a cold call is to get a presentation and a meeting. So don't sell your product or your service. Okay. Right. If somebody says they're busy, I completely agree that you're busy. When when would be a good time to be able to meet up with you? Tomorrow, later in the afternoon, a couple days from now. Somebody says a couple days from now. Perfect. Is that going to be Thursday or Friday? Is that going to be Friday or Monday? Monday. Perfect. Okay. Great. Monday's great. When Monday would be good for you? Morning or the afternoon? In the afternoon. All right. Is that going to be between one to four? Three o'clock. Okay. Other than the, perfect. Three o'clock is great. I'll go ahead and schedule, schedule that with you, doc. You know, just to let you know, truly appreciate it. Other than the fact that we have it scheduled at three o'clock on Monday, is there any other reason that you're not going to be able to meet with us? Is there any other reason that you might not be able to meet with us? No, is there any? Right. Yeah, literally I'm like, listen, is there any other reason that you're not going to be able to meet with us? I'm literally asking, is there any reason? And sometimes what happens is they're going to be like, let me look at my calendar. You, in my head, I'm like, you idiot. You, you're set up a schedule. You don't even know your calendar, right? Yeah. So I'm now got you looking at the calendar. All right, perfect. So doc, is three o'clock perfect? No, I'm busy. When then? Because if I, if I, if he has his calendar out, I can be like, hey doc, let's, he says, two o'clock, perfect, Doc. Can you write two o'clock there right now? The cold call 
is to get an appointment. Don't present. Don't sell. Nobody's buying from you when they first meet you and nobody's going to buy from you when they never met you. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, spend the whole day. This, this is where the whole sales process, you're talking about prospecting, qualifying, presenting, closing, follow-up. Prospecting, now we're finding out who we're going after. We're going to use the software Trella to be able to figure out who are the perfect ones. You know, back in the days, I used to be like, all right, 100 doctors, these are potential doctors, let's go after them. Not knowing how many patients that, that, that they referred out, with Trella, you have that. So sometimes I'll go through a couple of weeks and figure out the physician really doesn't, is, not a, is not fit for my company. I find that out in the qualifying side of things. And so I've wasted a couple of days visiting these people. You have Trella in your prospecting phase where you now know specifically who are the right prime contacts. So you don't even need to lose a couple of visits with these places because you already know, are they fit for you? You already know what marketing collateral to bring them. So tomorrow, like I said, right, get all these things down, get it all set up, have it ready. If it's only 50, you can do this in a matter of two hours. Mm -hmm. Get all the paperwork done. Then what I would do is research the, 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 like I said, the facilities, the SNFs, figure out which one's better, right? Then what I would do next is, if you have time the same day, start calling all of them, you know, the, the 40 doctors that you're going after, call all of them and try to set up appointments for next week. Because if you can meet up with them next week, then you schedule your visits on the other cold visits that you weren't set up, set that up, you know, with the calls around those, those meetings that you created. Mm. Once you have that on Friday, you know who your visits are on, on the following week. Then on the weekend, I'll set up my Google maps on who I'm visiting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you're visiting 50 people, you should be able to hit those in a matter of two days. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give you three days. So you should be able to visit all of them. That's literally 15 facilities each day times three days, that's 45. If you want, we'll make it the four days. So divide 15 into four days, you're only visiting 12.5 sites a day. Mm. Okay. Right, so you have those, and then I would look into what your what what your handouts are, what your marketing clouds. What are you going to be giving away? You know, I honestly feel that you should have that ready by the weekend. Don't wait till you wake up at you know eight thirty in the morning, get yourself ready for work by nine. No, nine o'clock, nine thirty or so, you should be in your first facility already that you're visiting. Okay, so you know, don't don't do this thing where like, well, you know what, when I wake up, when I get to work, I'm gonna stop by a place, I'm gonna buy my giveaways. No, you don't wanna do that, right? You wanna have your giveaways ready to go. Why? The giveaway should have your, you know, should have a sticker with your name in it, your company logo, you know, I wouldn't even put logo, your name in it, you know, number to call you, that's where, that's it. So you, okay. you when Monday hits, it's marketing time. You know? So that's what I would do, man. And, you know, and once, like I said, you visit them, give them a call, shoot them an email. End of the week, hey, Friday's here. You know, just want to let you know. Met you with it early this week. I just want to be let you know Friday's here. Do you have any last minute people that need help with? So you're not going to say, hey, do you have any last minute or weekend referrals? No. Is there any family members need to talk about home health services? Is there anything, any patients that needs more information about home health that maybe we can give them for you? See what I'm saying? Once again, I'm not, mm -hmm. I will never ask for a referral. I'm asking for how can I help you? You know, that is the difference 
in this whole game is, you know, you being able to say, how can I help you? Mm. Yes. I like that. All right. Mm-hmm. I truly appreciate everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's do this, Israel. Uh, do me a favor, bud. Um, once you once you get all these reports made, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game of teacher and student. Okay, um, <laughs> get all these reports made for me, and mm -hmm. literally put it in a Dropbox file and show me you did it. Like, send me the files and show me you did it, man. Okay. You know, that's, that's my thing. You know, I'm gonna, I, I just want to, I want to keep you accountable, man, because, you know, I know you're worried about the position and everything. Let, let me get you accountable. So get everything done tomorrow with, you know, I want to see 40 reports, you know, comparison with your agency and, and, and the other agencies that's in their per position as well. Each facility put in a, I don't know if you can put a folder, Dropbox folder or something like that. I don't know if you have that or a Google drive, shoot that over to me so that I see that you did it. I just want to, you know, I just want to get you accountable first. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So these are the reports like that from, from, from Trello. Yeah. Right. You know, just, just okay. to, you know, show that you created the PDF file, the comparison file, those kind of things. It's just like, just, just show me the proof on that because you, I want to get you accountable first. And, you know, right now, you know, Apparently, your managers don't really do a good job doing accountability a little bit. From I'm, I'm, I, I know how it feels. I know, I know people need support and stuff like that. You know, and so that's where it is. So it's like, let let me get you accountable first. Get this thing out so that we we know that you're you're ready to go. All right. Okay. So thank you. So for tomorrow, you're saying I should stay home and do all this. Is that what you're saying? Hey. You know, go to the office, go to, go outside. You know, honestly, I don't like working at home. Mm. Right? When you work at home, there's Netflix. And I love my Netflix. I literally had to remove Netflix from my phones. Yeah. 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 Netflix is not even, it, I even have it blocked on my computer. Mm. It's my enemy. So, you know... I honestly, you know, find wherever it's easy. Now, if you have a, you know, if in your house, there's a place there where you could do work that you don't, that you prefer doing there, then that's fine. Right. The reason why I'm saying that you should do this first is because to be honest, man, if you don't plan ahead, if, you know, if you're just going to try to jump into straight to, you know, presentation or qualifying, what's that going to do when you're not prepared with the right places? When you skip steps, right. the whole process, you're going to go blind. You have to follow the process, man. Follow the process. And, 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 and that's where it is, you know? Your prospects, prospecting, prospecting needs to be on point. Then, then you walk in, you, you know, you cold walk and you do have to do your qualifications. And then you do your presentations, throw in a few closes in there and then straight up follow up that is your, the mother of, of all your referrals is gonna happen in the follow up, you know? And so, that's what that's where you need to put yourself, man. I hear you now. I, okay, okay, <laughs> I, I'll do that. So, I'm not gonna lie, part of me just wants to go to the, the hospitals and and hit them up. A part of me wants to go to those hospitals and just hit them up and hmm. see what's going on. I have no problem in doing that. Like I said, tomorrow to 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 get all these fifty information, you should do this in a matter of three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I said, then I said, yeah. then, what you, then I said, go after these facilities that you already have. And then maybe Friday between divided up Friday or tomorrow in the afternoon, start calling, and getting appointments. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. You know, and, and if you, if you even want, you want me to literally listen to one of your calls when you're calling these facilities, and I'll give you a post update on something on how you did. We can do that as well. That'd be great. So, you know, just figure it out from there, right? Um, I, I have availability Friday, but not tomorrow. Okay. All right? Okay. All righty. Is there anything else that I can help you with? 
Um, should I wait to sign the forms that I got? You mean the forms that they, who, what forms? That they sent me, that they sent me like the performance or whatever. The performance? It's, yeah, the forms that have the. Are they going to meet with you live? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a phone call. <laughs> like I, because we have a a, a a weekly call with the manager, and okay. she said we'll talk. She said sign as soon as possible. We'll talk during our call. Okay, and so yeah, so it'll be like you know, okay, I'll sign it, and then so you just wait for them, have the conversation first, and be like, all right. Because I mean, is it one of those DocuSign things? Yes, it's on. It's on an email, and it has. Uh, I'm just paranoid that like I missed something, and I don't know, man. It's just honestly, I'm just paranoid about like getting yeah, well, fired, or they've already. If it's a DocuSign thing, then honestly, you're gonna have to sign it no matter what, anyways. Because the truth is, you know, if you're not signing it, then they're also probably saying, "Oh, see, even just a basic signature is not doing." It. So. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's in a DocuSign, then, then I would just sign it. But then at the same time, hey, can we also have a conversation? Because I have, I have some, I put some strategies together on, on trying to get more more referrals. And I was hoping to get your input. When can we have a quick meeting or talk? Got it. Okay. okay. All right. All right, man. If there's anything, been... let me know. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online home health marketing academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency increase referrals, increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're going to have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month-to-month. -month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in, come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us. Before we continue on to the video, just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. And so we want to be able to ask you a question. Are you looking to gain more referrals for your agency, your home health, your home care, your hospice agency? We want you to be able to join us at our online marketing boot camp that has over seven and a half hours of training. When you actually watch our boot camp and join our online marketing boot camp training, you're going to get a free month access to our 10xpatientreferrals.com. So sign up for a limited time at 10xpatientreferrals.com and enjoy all the content. So let's go ahead and get back to the video that you're currently watching.